All right, guys, uh, <coughs> I just wanted to bring you to this uh, article here. It's, um, it's to do with the children of uh, Fukushima. In um, September 2011, they put a, a, a petition into the UN. Um, under the optional protocol of uh, 2008 that was brought in uh, to uh, be used if the government of a country wasn't um, uh, helping the people for various uh, social health or, or uh, economic reasons. Uh, they were basically um, uh, using the optional protocol, the people of Fukushima, various NGOs that uh, got together um, and did a petition uh, in November. Uh, 2012, a year later, the uh, UN rapporteur uh, to Japan uh, goes there and uh, comes out, does a report, um, and then basically, uh, you know, sort of says that the radiological situation is a worry, um, especially for the children that are living in uh, the more contaminated areas. So, uh, what happened then is that, uh, of course, he's gone back to the UN and he's made his representations. Uh, and um, and then there was supposed to be a sort of meeting. Uh, they would talk with the uh, Japanese government representatives about these issues, and they would get answers. Um, so what has happened um, is that they got their answers. Uh, there was a couple of little things that I want to point out uh, with this uh, situation. And the first one is that uh, trying to find this article, uh, that that's the uh, April uh, the 30th, 2013, um, report um, on the responses to the uh, of the Japanese government. Um, so basically, they've turned around and um, they've um, uh, made some uh, references to what was uh, made in the uh, rapporteur's report. Uh, that, that that it's not been answered point by point. They've made just a couple of small statements concerning the nuclear issue and a few statements concerning technology, kind of very vague. Um, but the main one they made uh, to say was that uh, on a more technical point, this was uh, the main point they made, it was explained that an annual exposure to radiation was at the level advised by the International Commission of Radiological Protection, the ICRP. Right, so the ICRP at the moment is being taken to court in uh, Belgium, um, and that's fronted up by the uh, uh, by Chris Busby and the uh, uh, internet. Uh, was it the uh, in, uh, nuclear justice uh, site? Um, so, and uh, there's a link on the video. Actually, you can get to that uh, site, and you can put your petition into the uh, to uh, European Union uh, to um, say, look, you know, uh, this IC. RP uh, doesn't work in a nuclear accident. It's for um, you know, sort of for hospital clinical conditions with uh, gamma radiation and not particulates in the air and on the ground and uh, and uh, certainly not uh, a multitude of isotopes that might be floating around. So um, anyway, that's that's the score there. So they've they've come out. And they've just said, oh no, well, we think the ICRP says that it's at the level advised. And of course, the, the level advised is not the, um, shall we say, is, you know, because there are people above the ICRP level. So what they must have done to make that statement is raised the, uh, raised the bar so, so that people are allowed more contamination. Um, but once again, you know, it was all hidden. Uh, there's very little being said. There's no discussion about this on the uh, press uh, at all, and uh, even in Japan. And... Um, and nobody's really aware of it. It was hidden on a, a an Arabic-speaking website in the UN. Um, anyway, so what I'm going to do, I've just said my piece on this. Uh, I'm just going to scroll down. I've put it onto an article. I've put this here. I've put the quote here. And underneath, there's uh, some uh, young people that were uh, cleaning a swimming pool, decontaminated. Well, they were cleaning a swimming pool. It's the kind of thing they do in Japan. Um, but, you know, they haven't got any safety equipment on. And it's kind of a bit odd that uh, in Koryama City that they would be doing that. And you're getting a measurement there, as you can see, I think, of uh, 0.51 microsieverts per hour. And that's well away from the area. So if you're near the area, maybe where the dust is being kicked up. Um, and uh, a, a bit of a close-up there of a young man with a steam cleaner and people standing around. There's a guy there on the right who's got a mask on, but it's around his chin. So he's chatting with his friends and... 
And next door, very close by, uh, these guys just running around on their nice dirt. Is the soil decontaminated? Well, we know the air reading one meter above is 0 0.50 microsievert, so that's a little bit higher than the, it's 10 times uh, above uh, what it should be, uh, more or less. So um, the full video is there, and then I've put uh, to explain what's happened there is I've put the extracts uh, from this uh, Committee on Economic, Social and Cultural Rights, uh, the, uh, uh, the their optional protocol meeting that they had, uh, and uh, and I've left some, some, some comments there. I mean, just, just read through them. That's They're the ones that are kind of relevant. There are others you, if you want to read through the whole document, um, but, but they're the ones that I just picked up on. Um, and it's uh, the, the the other thing which uh, I found a Japanese friend of mine was quite shocked by uh, regarding those that survived the atomic bomb their medical needs related to the exposure was subsidized and this would allow them to maintain a suitable level of living they said which means basically that although the children have got uh, living in contaminated uh, that they would be you know that their, their medical needs would be meted and met and what have you and and of course the over a certain age they have to start paying for it themselves um, and the uh, checkups are not regular enough, and uh, various other things. Um, yeah, so I mean, they said basically also uh, more information was now being disclosed through information materials and press conferences on Fukushima. Um, they said a member of the delegation and uh, the, said the member delegation, and this was to make a decision, uh, make uh, things more transparent. Um, and of course, we know they're not transparent. In fact, they're getting very untransparent <laughs> as time goes on, as you would expect, because they have to hide up more, and cover up more. So, uh, and the big thing, the reason why I'm putting this video up, the 17th of May, uh, I think that's Friday, isn't it? Uh, but anyway, the 17th of May, they're having the last uh, meeting, the concluding remarks of the committee would be adopted, uh, and that would be that. Uh, and nobody's talking about it, nobody's saying, oh, um, excuse me, um, that, that's not quite right. But there we go. Anyway, so I've, um, I've uh, basically put the other bits there. Now, there's the link to the PDF, so you can go and find that. Uh, sorry, that's the link to Nuclear News Report, uh, which, uh, which has the uh, PDF on it. And then I've also left a link down here, which uh, just was talking about the op optional protocol being in, uh, announced in 2008 and what good deal it was and everybody's going to be really happy and everything's great. And I've just left a little uh, recap there. Has the UN optional protocol failed for the children of Fukushima and, and their parents as well, you know, but uh, this, this was for the children. Uh, but how you separate them from their parents and families and friends is... Uh, um, uh, you know, everybody's in the same boat. Uh, and nobody's looking at the adult uh, doses and, and illnesses that might occur. There's no studies being done. It's uh, very stupid when you've got this sort of uh, thing. You want to be taking data in and, and uh, you know, real data, uh, not statistical data, um, and uh, basically using it. Um, but we're not, uh, we're not doing that. You know, citizen groups are gathering this information. Anyway, I'm going to leave a link to this uh, this this link, and you know it's two stories really. One is about the, the young people doing the decontamination with no decontamination uh, clothes on, and um, you know they should have been wearing waterproofs with the spraying water and what have you. But anyway, um, I'm going to leave this all here, um, and there's a link there if you look at the top left-hand corner. It says HD to Mia. And uh, of course, Mia's got uh, some more information on this on her website. Um, and uh, yeah, you can find out all about how things work in Japan. And it's, it's quite quite an interesting article she has. Uh, and in fact, actually, um, uh, I don't know if it's up yet, but uh, it will be up soon. So keep keep trying Mia's uh, site. And uh, no doubt I'll grab it and uh, mess around with it and stick it on nuclear news anyway. But uh, but Mia's site does have some very nice uh, uh, Japanese uh orientated stories you know for, from a person of a Japanese extractions point of view so um, that's uh, that's one of my sources and she's she's great she's great uh, 